Hi, I'm Kimberly with My Victorian Heart, and we're back with um, part two of our Halloween witch hat decor made with um, decoupage queen rice papers. And um, where we left off, we wanted to start doing some embellishments, and um, we had decoupaged this with um, several rice papers by decoupage queen. We used um, decoupage queen's um, beautiful new black patchwork, which is right here. And that's on the base and it still looks a little messy because the glue there's glue that's drying and um, like if you see the white down there that's like a part where I didn't get good coverage with my paper and we're applying this black glitter ribbon around the base of the cone part and um, we added some labels from decoupage Queen's beware of um, poison rice paper and this is the paper we've been cutting out labels we wet tear them and um, we used the raven from um, Halloween Raven with skull and gate and there's the raven and um, let's see I think that's it for the papers so where we left off we were applying glitter um, pentart glitter pen in the color brass and it has like a um, if you can see up close the dots that I put around the damask designs, it has like a coppery orange color, like really, I would say more copper because this um, beautiful black patchwork paper has those colors in it. If you can see up close, see, so pretty. They almost look like they shine in that, that design of that paper. So we're gonna um, put the camera down and I'm going to finish doing the glitter ribbon and we'll start on the embellishments. Okay, let me put this down. So putting ribbon around on a round item is tricky because it it will pucker and gap as you go around. And if you wanna keep it even down on your bottom edge, it's, you gotta go in stages. And I apply the glue to the ribbon and I kinda of try to get it at the top and the edges of the ribbon so that it will adhere properly as I go around. So you just wanna control, control it with your finger you kind of have to bend it a little and you have to be quick because if not, it's gonna dry. Your glue is gonna really dry. So where I have gaps is what I like to do is I'll take a um, like a little pin, like a sewing pin, and I will put dots of glue in it and stick them in the gaps and then press them in. So let me get my pen. So I just have like this little little tiny pin and I'm just gonna take my glue gun and just get a little bit of glue and quickly stuff my little glue dot down in there and press and any like any bits of glue that end up showing you can always fix them later you gotta let it dry or there's are they stringy and they pull and um, and you can always hide them with like, you know, paint. You know, touch them up or something. Not a, big, not a really big deal, you know. So you just want to go on your next piece. Just kind of have to like pull it up and and twist it over, you know. It's a little painstaking. You know, 
it's just one of those things that takes time and patience. Little details. So I literally will go in with, um, you know, glue that dries clear, just good old fashioned glitter glue or something and black fine glitter and go around and hide any of the goofy glue bits that I can't get rid of. Like that just stick there, you know? Like you can take this, you can try to pull it, pick them off, but you know, it takes a long time. So I can just hide them with my own black glitter. Whoops. You could also use Gym Glue by Pentart. My label tore off, but um, you know, the hot glue is quicker for this and um, the Pentart Express Glue is really good for this too. That glue dries pretty quick. I almost was gonna use it, but I was like, eh, the glue gun will be the fastest way. So there we go. So I have to pull it up a little bit and twist it. And we're almost done getting this wrapped around here. Whoops. Just, you know, I just do like an inch and a half to two inch sections as they go around. Because the glue dries so fast, you don't want to do too much glue. Too, too much of a length, you know. There we are. We have come full circle. <laughs> so now, get those strings out of there. All right, so you just wanna snip that off. And I snip at an angle, kinda of like, you know, a mitered, when you miter corners, they lay better. So there you go. Little angled snip. I really love the bat. I think he'd be really cute on here. So I think I'm going to add him. Yeah. So there we go. We're going to um, do the wet tear. We're just going to add the water on the paper around the bat, not too, too close. Because when you tear it, you risk tearing your design. Trust me. How do I know, right? I think we want to put in like right over here, like this. I want them to overlap on that label right there a little bit. Just like that. So, there's Mr. Bat. <laughs> so, we want to do the flowers and the bow. strings of glue. So we have this. 
right here. This is like a coppery tinsel. there and I debated if I wanted to add this not sure yet I don't know I think it's kind of fun I think I will it's kind of cute oops that was a short piece So you just make like a loop like this. You just sort of layer these bows. You don't have to like be an expert or anything. And they're just kind of fun, you know? Look at my messy glue gun, it's so old. I had this since my boys were in elementary school. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. It's been a good glue gun. see they're kind of fun you know and I have these pretty little um, millinery kind of pips berry pips um, I get stuff like this from Julie Collings on Etsy by the way that's her store Julie Collings She's wonderful. I've always loved her stuff. So here's the little pips, and I don't need them all. Some are kind of like, um, kind of frosted and glittered, and some are just sort of anti gold copper like. Some are a little dark. So I'm just going to use a few of each, and um, you don't need them all. And we're just going to accent our um, the middle of our ribbon. So we're going to glue them on. And I just need to get them like, we're just going to go like this. We're going to crisscross the dark ones with the goldy ones. Like that. And then, see where I'm at here. We're just gonna fold them back out like that, okay? Like a, a simple random cluster. And then you're just gonna take glue and glue your cluster. You wanna get them all glued together so they stay together on your project. And you want to take your bow and we're just going to park our cluster like right in there on top. And it's very stringy and annoying. So I just want to tamp this down like this and I want to hold it until it adheres better and then we're going to take another bit of um, glitter uh, tinsel and hide all that in the front so you don't see all the, the icky messy glue and everything 
So you can just take like a little, ooh, there's paint on there, I think. Okay, so you can literally just take like, and fold them over. So you just wanna cut like a little bit like this. And you can just make a circle, like fold it and then pinch it together and then stick it right there. You just need a little bit of glue for that, not too much. And there you go. So you have a nice little, little witch's millinery corsage. <laughs> It's so cute. Very simple. Nothing crazy. And then is what we want to do is we're going to add some of these flowers and um, we'll be nesting this on top of them. Kind of like so the bow is not too hidden. So we have these and um, is what you have to do is you have to snip off the wire, you know, so let's see, this is the back. So we wanna put one, we will start right there. Generous glue, okay. Oops. And you just wanna park it on there and hold it. And I put a, some glue up on the back of the petals behind there just so they can adhere well on the hat. So this one we're gonna put over here like this, okay? All right, here we go, like that. We're just gonna press it in there really nicely, firmly. Well, that's going to drive me crazy. Don't worry about the glue strings. You can yank them off later. And now we want to put this 
this on there. Just have to like make room for it. Just kind of have to, um, you know, part these petals right here. Okay. There you go. All right, there we go. So, just want to like park them right here. Like that. There you go. So cute. I love it. Um, I think we need some stuff around the front. I'm all about details, you know. So, I have this cute little mini witch's broom that I think would be really cute on here. Um... We could just like lay it next to the witch here. Um, it could just sit like that. It could sit here against the flowers. Her broom is gonna go right there like that, okay? I think that's really cute. So let me get my glue gun. So my glue is funny, it's like coming out red orange because I had a red metallic glue stick in here and um, I thought I got rid of some of that, but it's okay because it goes with the colors I'm doing on here. <laughs> it kind of worked out. So there's her broom. It's pretty simple, <laughs> nothing fancy. I think I liked it better without it. And let's see. So we have a rosette to make that I had said that we would make and I need the artwork for it um so I have to go get it um so we have this okay and you just Attach it with a little glue right there, okay? And you bring the ends together. This is crepe paper garland that I um, buy on a roll and I take it, I put it on my sewing machine with a gathering foot and I gather it with orange thread. And alternatively, I do orange garland with black thread. So once you get the ends glued, you just lay it down like this and you just flatten it and bring the, the inside pleats together and you make a circle. And that's how you make like a crepe paper rosette. 
and just lay it flat like that. And then you get your, you can take a scalloped hole punch or a large, like a round hole punch and put your artwork there. So I am gonna, um, oops, glue, dry glue. I'm gonna go get that. do her like that. This is wet <laughs> with decoupage glue. I can't touch it with my fingers. All right. poo and it was wet so I couldn't really handle it to age it with this stuff so I'm gonna get out of there I'm gonna go ahead with the brush right now and go in there like that I want this to be really oldy, grungy, agey, because she's like this vintage. All right, so there you go. So, I think she's good right there, kind of like, so here's the front like this. And I think she's good off center right there, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. All right, I gotta turn it around and see what I'm doing. So that's the back. Well, really, I've got the flowers kind of off center back there, I guess. Huh? So.
maybe like that works. Okay. And I need my glue. And I just want to bend my medallion a little to make it fit the curve of the hat better, okay? Like that. And then we just poof this up, you know, around it. I think I put too much. <laughs> oh well. And we just need to hold her down a little on there. Like that. This is a silicone paint blade by Iron Orchid Designs. And it's great. You can run it across, across like your freshly glued decoupage paper, you know, gently but firmly, and it will help smooth it out, but it doesn't get stuck or drag or tear, you know, your paper. I love them, they're great. It's just like that. She is really quite lovely. What we need to do here is um, seal these edges with some touch of decoupage glue since I sanded it. So we're just going to go around like this. And actually, we really need to seal all of this. Um, but since we have embellishments all over it, it'll be a little tricky to do, you know. And we are going to brush a little bit over this young lady, our lovely Grump Hilda. <laughs> have yeah, that glue string hanging there, it's going to drive me bonkers. 
Hold on. There we go. I'm happy now. <laughs> So we have to dry this now. So this is, um, wax paste metallic and um, the color copper. So I'm just gonna take like a little stencil brush and I'm gonna get some wax paste on here and I'm gonna brush it on the top of our, the tip of our hat to give it like a an accent. And the tip of this is a little kind of mint funky. So we're just gonna you know, gussy it up a little bit and make it pretty. Okay. There we go. If you can see that, I'll get close up. That's good. And um, I don't know if I wanna, I don't know if I wanna edge this with black or copper. What do you guys think? Do you like the copper? I do then that's what it's gonna be. So we're gonna edge these unfinished edges with the copper, like that. Now, when you do wax paste like this, and you know, if you're doing something that you want to be kind of vintagey and age looking, you go over your color paste with um, like a little antiquing medium like the Tim Holtz Distress ink, or you could use touches of the uh, Pintart Antique Piece in Umbra, which I have right here, and which I will do. Okay, so there you go. Dark Umbra. And I'm just going to go along the edges just randomly. I don't want to cover all of it, okay? And it tones it down and it makes it look kind of old and we'll go around all the hat with this okay and that little spot right there we can just give it some antiquing see gone and this one back here and it just gives it like makes it look oldy so that actually takes care of that problem. What is that under there? Got a glue string. Drives me nuts. Along here was where I decoupaged or patched and it looks kind of unblended so we're just gonna age it and that hides that really really well and it's, nobody will know see so now we want to sit this down 
and we're just gonna go along just lightly. I'm barely, I'm barely brushing the aging medium on this edge, okay? It's like, um, getting it nice and agey, okay? And we're just gonna give it a touch right here, around this right here. Helps hide boo-boos and gives everything a nice age touch, you know? In this label. And just up here where that funky line is from the paper mache. <laughs> Can give Missy grumpy some more and we'll just age up here a little bit so it's not so perfect looking all right there you go nice and oldie like it's undone I think it's gonna help you know You can bear, you can, I mean, it makes it look a little older. It's not like a big difference, but I like it. I think it'll be cool. Maybe some of, some of this wax will help a little more, you know? Yeah, I love it. It's aging it up. Love it. So it's not so perfect looking and new, you know? Okay, there you go. All right, guys, we're done. That's it. I hope you like it. I hope I inspire you to make something fun and creative and you know, just have fun. Alrighty, guys, give you a little look here. There's the little cute pips and the tinsel and our ribbons and our spooky labels. This beautiful black patchwork paper. Oh, and the glitter pen was amazing. It was a dream to work with. And another little label. And there's our cute little witch drawn by Teresa of um, Decoupage Queen. I love her. Um, so there you go. Miss Grumpilda. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys.